Before we begin drawing the ant, let's bring up some of our tools. So I'm going to go to Window and then bring up the toolbar by just clicking on this menu item. Once this is up, I'm going to click on this button right here, which is going to bring up the brush palette. I can also turn on the brush palette by clicking here and going down to brush palette. So I can turn it on and off here as well. The last thing I want is the resize brush icon. So you just click on that button right there and it brings it up. If you want to resize your brush, click inside this ring and drag and you can resize your brush. Okay. So we're going to draw an ant and it'll be from the top view. So I'm going to turn on the Y symmetry and this is a tool that's going to help us draw symmetrically. I'm just going to zoom out a tiny bit so I'm going to hold down the space bar and then when this ring pops up I will click and drag in the center and zoom out a tiny bit here. Okay. So I'm just going to see the thickness of my brush if it's what I want and it's a little bit too thick. So I'm going to hit Command Z to undo and resize my brush down to 2. Actually, I'm going to correct that. I'm going to go to 3. Okay, good. All right. So I'm just going to start by drawing the head and this is going to be a simple cartoon ant. So just think of a, an upside down heart shape. I'm just going to start on the line right here and draw out. And then the next two pieces of the body are just like oval shapes. And then the last part of the body will be a little bit longer, a little bit larger. Okay. So we can clean all this stuff up later. For now we're just going to leave it the way it is. Um, what I'm going to do actually though is I think I need a little more space so I'm going to scale this down. So I've just selected everything and I'm going to click on this ring in the center to scale it down a little bit. And I'll turn the Y symmetry back on. Okay so from here I'm going to zoom in a little bit and I will take my brush and just connect the different sections of the body. So I need to now pan on on my canvas or move my canvas up. So I'm going to hold down the space bar and then go to this outer ring and click and drag and then I can move the canvas. So I'm just going to connect these two together here and then I'll zoom out. Okay. So now we need to draw the, the legs and he's going to have six legs and then we'll do the antenna at the top. So uh, once again with the free line tool selected, I'm just going to, you know, actually what I might do is um, change my brush size a little bit thicker. Let's try something 4.2, yeah, that's maybe 5, yeah. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a curve and then a second curve. Same thing, I'm going to go to this section now. Actually, I'm going to stay on this guy. Draw a curve, second curve. And then on the last set of legs, come in. So, so now what I can do is um, I can fill this in. So I'll take my paint bucket or flood fill tool right here. I'm going to fill these in. And now I'm going to go in and I'm going to kind of um, finesse these lines a little bit. So I'm going to click on my eraser right here and I'm going to zoom in even further. So hold down the space bar, click and drag on this center ring 
And then over here in brush properties, I'm going to make my eraser smaller. So maybe let's try three for right now. So then I'll take the eraser and I'll start to erase the edges of the line so that I have more of a point where the line ends. That's going to give it a nice effect. And over here I want to just kind of clean this up a little bit. So now I'm going to go down on the canvas. So hold down the space bar, go to this ring and click and drag. I come in here and trim this. Right here, I'm going to clean this up a little bit. So once again, I'm going to I need to move my canvas, so I'll hold down the space bar, go to this outer ring and click and drag. So right here, I'm going to make this a little bit more pointed. Try that again. Remember, you can hit command Z to undo. So I'm just going to clean this up a little bit here. I'm going to continue to move down the canvas. So I'll hold down the space bar, click on this ring, and drag. I'm going to come down here and erase this. And now I'm going to zoom out. I'm going to go up to the top here, zoom in. I'll erase this little mistake I have right here. And then I might come in here and change this. So the last thing that we need then is the little antenna that comes out. So go back to my paintbrush right here and I'm gonna resize my brush I'm gonna go down to two let's say and then I'll go in and I will draw these lines and I'll press command Z to undo until I find the line that I like and I'll keep that one right there so we can turn off the Y symmetry now so this exercise is done. If you wanted to, you could add in a background color, uh, but I'll leave that up to you as the artist.